but it's a beautifully written script and it was directed by the writer so there was constant everyday access to the every every feature of the material at all times um i was fascinated because it reflected certain aspects of my own life with the central conflict in the film what is the value of personal sacrifices that you make in order to create a successful career and are those is the career finally worth it and were those sacrifices necessary or damaging that's the central theme of the movie it's where my wife was living and she didn't want to move and i had fallen in love with brooklyn so uh, it was a natural decision um if i tell you that then everybody knows where it is yeah. and it's no longer a tranquil place so right. what are you reading by the way oh my um i am finishing goldfish um and i have just started reading a book about the trauma of american soldiers in afghanistan and uh, and uh, iraq and uh, i have a pile of books waiting to turn to i never read comic books the only comic books i've ever read were the ones that were put in my hands to do with excellent It's a happy accident that that matches screening here at Tribeca just two weeks after our run on Broadway concluded. We were there for six months, and um, I'm uh, I, I'm pleased that I'm, we're able to shift. I am able to shift from the work that I was doing in theatre to uh, talking about work in movies because there's match, and then there's a new X-Men movie right after it. Ian McCallan and myself uh, knew that a percentage of our audience were coming to see Captain Picard or Gandalf or Magneto, Charles Xavier. Um, we didn't mind. Uh, l let them come. We just needed to get them there in the theatre, and then uh, uh, we can do the rest. And uh, one of the satisfying things has always been that uh, people will then come back and. See upward, see more. Work. Are you any closer to your goal of being a concert pianist? <laughs> It's not going to happen. I'm afraid. No. It's too late. Um...